Welcome to another vlog. Today I'm gonna show you the Elko Engineering Garage, which is where I work, and I'll show you what a typical day looks like. Alright, this is the Elko Engineering Garage, which is where I work. And the whole purpose of the garage is to give students a hands-on learning experience. And the problem with COVID, of course, is that we don't have any of these opportunities from home. So one of the biggest projects that I'm working on is to create online content so then we can share this really cool experience with the students at our school. I usually start my day off at my desk, and the first thing I do is wipe down the surfaces with some isopropyl alcohol. From there, I log onto my computer and check in using the U of A's tracking system. As a staff member, we need to check in and check out every day so that the university knows exactly how many people were in our building every day. COVID-19 is a serious threat, and we are doing all that we can to prevent the spread of this virus. After that, I take a few moments to unpack my belongings and check my agenda for the day. Part of my job is developing video and live stream content so we can create a community online. With that said, I take a few minutes to set up our Sony a7 III camera. I'm a huge fan of Sony and I've been using their cameras for over a year. When it comes to making videos, it's very beneficial to know the settings by heart, which is why I'm taking this time to familiarize myself with this new camera. Cool, so this is Joey, president of the ESS, and he is also the other co-op student at the Elko Engineering Garage, and he's just running me through how to slice for 3D printing. So, yeah, any yeah. words? Uh, Audi. <laughs> That's it. Sweet. I used to think that 3D printing was super difficult, but it's actually a lot easier than you might expect. The process starts off by drawing a design on 3D modeling software and transferring that file to the 3D printers. Then we clean off the build plate, spray it with adhesive spray, insert the filament, and start the machine. After that, the printer does its thing and you'll have a physical item by the end of the process. Fusion 360 is the software that we are using, and it's free for educators and students. There's also a really good free version for hobbyists. Joey and I are currently running a Fusion 360 workshop, so we can teach others how to use this program. A lot of you might be wondering what it's like to work during a pandemic. As you can see here, our desks are more than two meters apart. Each individual's desk is their designated eating area, and we conduct all our staff meetings in this formation to maintain physical distance. Masks and distancing are proven to work, and we take those two things very seriously here at the garage. So those 3D prints are still running, and while I'm waiting for those to finish up, I'm gonna start working on a little bit of Eagle CAD and LT Spice. Those two softwares are mainly for electrical purposes, and they're used for something called PCB design, which stands for Printed Circuit Board. And the purpose of these softwares is to be able to test out your circuit before you actually make it, to make sure that there are no errors in your design. I'm honestly having a bit of trouble with these softwares just because it's not really my strong suit. I'm a mechanical engineering student and I'm not too familiar with electronics, but I'm really looking forward to learning more about these programs.
so far my experience in this co-op position has been spectacular. My coworkers are brilliant and they're so fun and I really love learning from them. And we only have a team of four people and there's like two supervisory positions so I get six in total. But it's really awesome because it gives us all a chance to get to know each other on a more deeper and intimate level. These people are super cool and yeah, I've just been loving this position so far. was successful, now it's time to clean up. So that's pretty much the end of the workday for me. Huge shout out to Joey for teaching me how to use the 3D printers. And of course, a huge shout out to Aaron, who is the applications engineer, and Sam, who is the Makerspace EIT. They are awesome. I think I have an amazing team and I love this job so, so much. If you're interested in more of my videos, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel, leave a comment below, like this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.